So anyway, came up with an idea for a really cool genie, which I want to demo for you guys. And it's a cool lead in for something neat that we're doing next Tuesday with our peeps that uh, I will clue y'all in about in a minute. But uh, good morning, Vicky. And uh, for those of you just joining us live, go ahead and say hi and let us know you're here so that uh, we don't feel like we're talking to the vacuum. I also got a new headset, Stu, because my other headset kept crapping out. Problem is, crap's not a cuss word, right? Is crap I a cuss not, word? I would not classify that as such. Okay, good. Um, so I'm going to make a public declaration right here, right now. Those are always Stu, the best. I'm quitting cussing. My mouth's gotten out of control. I'm quitting cussing. I'm not saying I'll never say another one, but I'm going to quit using cuss words in everyday conversation as I have devolved into. So there, I have made that public declaration. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> what's up, Naveen? Anywho, what are we talking about today, Stu? Well, one of the things that is the most important. What what would you say, Stu, is the single most important thing in your business? What would you say is the single most important thing in anybody's business? Mm. I guess the ability to make sales. <laughs> okay. I, I, okay. Um, no, no, no. Don't. Yeah. I'm yeah. not. There's, there's no right or wrong. Um, being able to make sales ultimately is what most people think they're in business for. Because if you don't make sales, you, you don't make any money. If you don't make any money, you can't stay in business. If you don't stay in business, then you end up going to the big box store or putting on a hairnet and saying the words that have made billions of dollars all around the world, which are, would Is you like fries with fries that? With that? Or perhaps pie? a hot apple, apple pie. pie. Exactly. So you know it, Stu, you know? So... What would you say, though, what has to come before sales? Um, marketing. Okay, so marketing you might think of as leads. Yeah, so leads. marketing, finding people who could potentially do business for you, whether that might be physically finding them or just identifying them and sending them marketing messages. You got to have leads before you can have sales. Okay. What, again, most important part in your business, let's keep reeling it back in. What's the most important part of your business? Because you can't have sales without leads and you can't have leads with what? what? You're like, without I, some for, I, I don't know why it's not clicking for me, Jim. It's fine. And, I, and, and we, we, you know, maybe we should have a little more time in pre- show Dude, planning but i do like this we got on facetime for almost 20 minutes to plan the show what are you talking about <laughs> i just don't i just don't remember this triangle coming up that's all oh, did, oh the I, triangle yeah that wasn't part of the show uh, well okay. maybe maybe our folks can answer this because i'm i'm drawing a blank okay I, i'm gonna say communication with okay people. communication yeah. is really the basis of relationships. Ah, there you go. So you can't have leads. You can't have sales without leads and you can't make repeat sales without building a relationship with people. Now, a big mistake people think is, you know, I got to get leads, then I got to build relationships, then I got to, then I got, then I'll get sales. Uh-uh, that's not how you do it. You want to generate leads, make sales, and build relationships with the people who buy from you. I don't want to make, I don't want to build relationships with people who ain't ever going to buy. Just takes too long. All right. Now I can provide value. That's di value is different than building a relationship. So, Sue, I know you can do this. And those of you paying attention and playing along at home, which is to win with what has turned into the copy and content.ai Jeopardy report. <laughs> What's at the center of this entire process, Stu? My, that's my business. That is my whole business model. Um, 
Marketing? No. Um, no. Uh, draw who? Blank, Jim. Who? Who is at the center? Oh, my of avatar. The... Oh, thank my you, avatar. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> yes. Your avatar. Yes. Your avatar is at the center of this entire process. Because. I think avatar is pretty important, Jim. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I really do. Um, Avatar is super important, Stu. And the thing is, you can generate leads, but if you don't know who you're trying to generate leads from, it doesn't really do you any good. If you can try and make sales, but if you don't know who you're trying to make sales to, you can't craft messages that resonate with those people. And if you don't know who your avatar is, your ideal customer, then who are you going to build a relationship with? How are you going to provide value to them that makes them want to keep paying attention to you? So at the center of this entire process is your avatar. Nice. And this is also the hardest thing for people to do. Because what happens is most people, when they have that entrepreneurial itch, they jump about three steps ahead in the process. When you had your entrepreneurial itch, what did you do? What did you do when you transitioned from being in the Navy to being Stu Smith entrepreneur? What had you done? What was the single pivotal thingy that you had created or done at that point that you were trying yeah. to build something around? My first thing was a book and website. Okay. You wrote a book. Yes. And that was my first big thing was I wrote a book as well. I created a thing that I was going to sell and I was going to get rich off royalties. Now admit it. You're like, oh, I'm going to sell a bunch of books and they're going to send me checks and I'm going to be just, you know, I'm going to be Stu Smith, the author. You, you, you thought it. I thought it, I okay. thought it, but then reality set in. And ah, don't jump ahead for the kids. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So if it wasn't a book, what is the mo what are the things that people in our sphere do? They write a book. What are some other things they do? They'll, they'll spend a whole lot of time, energy, effort, money, attention and stuff. What will they do up front? Um, maybe have some coaching or sell a product. Right. So they create a coaching program or they create, they don't sell the product. They create the product. They right. don't sell the coaching. They become a coach. Right. They, they, they create the thing. Okay. Got it. And then, or they invent the thing. And then what do they do, Stu? They go in search of what? People. Right. To sell them. Yes. Now we go in search of the people to buy. What happens if we created a product that nobody wants or we created it in a way that the people don't want? Are we screwed? Um, maybe. No, not necessarily. You just have to find the right people. OK, got it. Got it. Got to niche it down a little bit. Okay, potentially you could go niche it down. Potentially you could. So if you've got a really cool product, then potentially you can go find the people. Yes. However, what if you identified the people first, found out all their needs, all their desires, all the things they were willing, ready, and able to spend money on right now, and were actively looking for a solution? Do you think if you did that step first and then wrote your book, created your coaching, built your product or invented your software, would you have a higher or lower probability of being successful? Much higher. Much higher. Would you succeed faster or slower by doing that? Faster. Yeah, I, I would think you would succeed yeah. a lot faster yeah. by knowing, knowing who the people were and creating something specifically for them. So the bottom line at this point is, and Stu, I will let you summarize. What yeah. is the very first step anyone should take either in starting a business or in launching a new product or a coaching or something like that? 
What do you think? What do you think, Stu, is the first step that anyone should take? Hmm. I, I would say find your customers or your avatar. Yes. Define your ideal customer avatar profile. And for those of you who don't know, an avatar is a, a representation of your ideal customer. It is instead of trying, you can't sell to everybody all at once. So you define your avatar and you do it in such a way that you can speak directly to that avatar and by creating messages, sales letters, emails, ads, products, content directly for this ideal one, you are creating messages that resonate with the big group. So here's the problem, Stu, and we are going to work this around to AI. The problem is, is that most people, when they think of their avatar, they think in terms of demographics. So Stu, what are, what are demographics? Just categories of, uh, I guess, elements you should consider in, um, what your customers are living. Right. You know, what, what, yeah. Right. So the big thing is to understand the difference between demographics and psychographics. Those are big words, but that's okay. You've now added them to your vocabulary. Demographics, if you really want to just break it down, demographics are numbers. Demographics are facts. Okay. My demographic, demographics of my ideal customer. Okay. I can tell you what the demographics are for your ideal customer. Young male between the, for one group of your customers, one ideal customer avatar demographics, young male, 16 to 24, uh, interested in military service. Um, you know, high school or college, you know, all those numbers that you could break yep. down. Um, other demographics, you know, male, 45 to 55 years old, married, 2.5 kids. I always feel sorry for the 0.5 kids, but, <laughs> you know, income between 66000 and $122,000 a year, that kind of a thing, measurable stuff. The problem, the great thing about demographics is it can help you identify if your ideal customer is somewhere. Like, are they on Facebook? Are they on Instagram? Are they on TikTok? Are they receptive to email? Do they respond to text? All kinds of stuff. It's not useful at all for crafting sales copy or creating, creating the actual ads or the videos or the text or the graphics or the products or the coaching or the software. Hey, attention all males between the ages of 16 and 24. If mm. you are living, you know, it's just not how it works. Yeah. Psycho, psychographics are more what we want to know when it comes to our avatar. We want to know the avatar's pain. We want to know their problems. We want to know their desires. We want to know their wants. We want to know their roadblocks. We want to know their hangups. We want to know their objections. We want to know their long-term objectives. We want to know all the things. We want to know their questions that they have. Why do we want to know all these things, Stu? Well, they're going to guide us towards determining how to communicate with them in exactly. a way that, you know, it, it is what it, uh, <laughs> we're going to talk about it's the not, things that they want to yeah, talk about. Yeah. It's not what it is. It's what it does to that person. Right. You know, ultimately you, you've heard, and I think it was, um, I think it was Eugene Schwartz but I'm not going to say it for sure. Um, it, it doesn't matter. But one of the guiding principles of sales copywriting and, and also content creation 
is that we want to enter the conversation already going on inside of your prospect's head. And so their conversation is, you know what? I'm a male between the ages of 16 and 24 who's potentially considering military service. And I've got a BMI of 43 and it needs to be a, no, nobody's thinking that way. The conversation that's going on in their mind is, hey, I'm not, I don't know how to swim, but I want to be a Navy SEAL. How can I learn how to be a stronger swimmer? I'm overweight. I can't do a single pull up. Uh, how do I apply for military service? I mean, all these things, you enter the conversation going on in their mind, they pay attention. You can grab their attention. You can actually sell them. So the problem is that most people, and it's not as easy as it used to be, but most people lean on this. They'll go to Facebook find a couple of groups, analyze the demographics and think they did something. Oh, hey, I see that, you know, my customers are predominantly men of 53% versus 47% at this and this and this. Who cares? Nobody cares. That ain't going to help you write messages that are going to get people to pay attention. Here's where you're actually going to get the payoff. But the problem is that this sounds good and it makes complete sense the problem is is that it's difficult to do because it's hard to get outside of yourself and your own understanding of all these different things like you have your preconceptions so Stu, tell me what's the number one pain one of these kids that that you're trying to market to has what's their number one pain uh fear of failure okay what's their number one problem um worried about if they're on the right track what's their number uh, one desire see progress in uh their preparation and getting to and through training what's a roadblock that they that they see is holding them back um inability to tread water okay so you're all over the place yes <laughs> But that's because you're trying to pull it straight out of your head. Yes. So one I'm of the things really that thinking. Well, no, I mean, yeah, because yeah. it's not easy. It's, that's the point yeah. that I'm trying to make. Yeah. And it's not easy and it takes a while to be able to define all this stuff. Yet until you do that, you 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 have no clue how to communicate with people. So what if I could make that like super simple and easy? Like what what if I could make that so it was knocked down easy. That would be huge. What if I could do it so that you didn't even really have to know anything about your ideal customer? In other words, if you could look at another product, like you invented your product, you went through that whole thing. I wrote my book, I created my software, I created my coaching program, I did all that stuff. And you're like, oh snap, now I gotta go find somebody to sell to. And I asked you, who's your ideal customer? You're like, uh, everybody. <laughs> That's what everybody <laughs> says, everybody. Everybody yeah. needs this. Okay, Chuckles. Well, let's work our way around to that. Could you point at another product and say, anybody who buys that is my ideal customer? Sure. Anybody who buys that is my ideal customer. That's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. So if you could do that, and I know a lot, and you tell me in the comments, any of you ever been in that situation where you had something to sell or you, you're trying to sell your product right now? You've had problems defining your ideal customer avatar, but you could look at another product and say, if anybody's buying that, they should buy my thing. Either instead of, or before or after they buy that other thing. Let me know in the comments if, if that resonates with you at all. And just see what, what anybody has to say. Um, 
<laughs> Susan says this headset ain't the one. So has my has my level been dropping in and out for you, Stu? Yeah, it's your your sound has been better. Okay, well, this is the most expensive headset I can find. So that's ridiculous. Uh, that's I understand so. that. So I think we're going to go back to the 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 one from uh, Xbox. So I'm going to grab yeah. the X. I'm going to grab the Xbox one, and we'll try that. Um, okay, so I'm seeing a whole bunch of people saying yes that that is something that they can do. So I'm going to actually demo this new tool for you, and let me. I'm just gonna. I just gotta pull it up real quick. But what I want you to do, Stu, is go to Amazon and find me a book. All right. That you know that if somebody bought this book, they are your ideal customer. Okay. Okay. And if you want, we could actually do that. We could actually do that together if you want. We could run over to Amazon together and look. Yeah. Hey, that. I think I think your microphone is touching your beard or face. Uh, dude, it's I'm trying to do anything I can to make that dang thing work. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's it's if I if I put it down that, it that sounds much better. Okay. Well we'll it'll sound better for a couple minutes. Um okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm at Amazon. And we will take a look real quick. So let me let me share my screen. And so what would you do a search for to find a book that would be um, something that, you know, like if someone was buying this, they would be buying your thing. I just did one on tactical fitness. Okay. And your book comes up number one. Oh, look uh, at that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look that at one that. right there. L look at that. Built from broken is a really good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. So, are you telling me that anybody who buys that is potentially a good customer for you? Yeah, especially my over forty crowd. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go take a look at this page now. What I want y'all to understand is that we're not stealing anything. We're not copying anything we're not doing anything underhanded or anything like that all we're going to do is use this book and use the sales copy and comments and um, testimonials and stuff from this book to help us identify the avatar for this book that we could then target with our products and services Okay, so what we have, this is brand new. I haven't even released it to anybody yet. We have the product avatar detective genie. We're actually gonna release this next Tuesday when we do our two hour avatar challenge for our members. And so if you're not a member of copyingcontent.ai yet, you need to drop what you're doing, run over and join copyingcontent.ai so that you can be on that two hour challenge on Tuesday. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, grab this title. I'm going to throw it in the title. It's a book. And then I'm going to grab the sales copy for this. All right. And I'm going to paste it in here. Now we got a little bit of, a little bit more that we could put in there. So I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna look and see if there are any of the reviews or anything like that, editorial reviews. Um, I like this one from the author. And this is gonna be way too much. Mm. But no, well, way too much from the standpoint of what the genie can take. Gotcha. But let me throw it in there. Yeah, now and I got just got to back it off. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter how much is in there. 
just trying to get as much as I can. So, all right, even though it says I didn't. Okay, so now what we're going to do is your avatar, the way we use it inside of copyingcontent.ai, the way we create a profile of our, um, of our ideal customer is we look at the following data points. We look at their identity, current focus, immediate results, long-term results, enemy, urgent problems, pain points, critical questions, objections, limiting beliefs, bottom line, end of the day result, big benefits, big result, and number one pain that this helps you avoid. So now what this is gonna do is it's gonna help us to figure out who we wanna go after based on this book. So if the people that are buying this book are our ideal customers, then by golly, these are the ones we want to go after. Now, this is going to tell us who are some niche markets we could go after. Middle-aged fitness enthusiasts, athletes in joint pain, people with injuries, those interested in natural pain relief, mental tension, fitness beginners, weightlifters, yoga practitioners, people with limited mobility, and those looking to improve he joint health. And that's going to tell us that they want to transform into pain-free athlete, injury fee, Mobility master, I like that a lot, actually. Natural pain relief expert, corrective exercise guru, functional fitness enthusiast. So are you willing, Stu, and this will probably take us about 10 minutes, and I'm just going to do like my buddy Dexter and like every other user. I'm just going to just start flicking all of these so that, you know, it'll just start defined and we'll be ready to go. It might, it might throw me the little red screen of death because I'm asking it to do all this all at once, but it might not. Yes. Um, do you want to create a quickie little avatar from this? Sure. Just from, just, do you think we could create an avatar in less than 10 minutes from this? Uh, I, I would think so, Jim. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll create an avatar junior. But wait, there's more. All right, so <laughs> now what we're going to, yeah, there's more. So, um, yeah, it threw, me a, it threw me the little red screen down here at the end. One of these, it didn't pop. There we go. Objections, limiting beliefs. Okay, so which one of these, as far as the, um, what would be an identity that you'd want to go after? Now, if, if you want to, you know, athletes over 40, or athletes over 45, what, I mean, you can, this is to give you ideas. You don't, you know, it's not like this is dyed in the wool. You have to only copy and paste these. Yeah. But um, let me let me zoom in on that for you so you don't have to lean in quite so close to the screen. Um, which one of those do you like or do you have one in mind already that you would be like, you know, athletes over or middle-aged athletes or? Yeah, I'm definitely uh, in the, let's, let's take it up a notch and go over 50. Okay, so athletes over 50? Yeah. Okay, so I'll do a new one. Okay, so we'll do ath. Okay, so we'll do athlete over 50 and athletes over 50. And how about, how about real quick, former athlete over 50? Oh, the reason former. they need me, yeah, the reason they need me is they, they're kind of beat up and broken. Okay, so ideal identity, what are we looking for? Pain-free athlete, mobility master, what, what, anybody, any of these giving you ideas? I mean, I, I like the mobility master. I, okay. I need to bring this in a little closer to see what you got there. So I, I personally think you could turn a lot of people into mobility masters if you had a, a real-time mobility workout that people could do a couple times along with you uh, that would be available through your website. But let's not worry about that right now. Um, so focus. What is their current area of focus? Joint pain relief, injury prevention, corrective exercise, muscle recovery, tissue repair, natural pain relief? Which, which one of these jumps out All. to you? All of let's, them. Okay, let's take a step back <laughs> just for a second. Let's take a step yes. back just for a second because this is a question that everybody asks. Hey, can I have more than one avatar? Yes. 
especially when we're talking about these immediate results stuff, you may end up having five or six different avatars that are basically the same, but they all want a different immediate result. Mm, okay. So this makes it real easy for you to create several avatars that you can use instead of just killing yourself to be able to do this by, by brainstorming. So I, I don't, any of you that are already members of copy content that AI, um, tell me what, what this has got you thinking right now as far as just the ability to brainstorm this stuff and we're doing this based on a best-selling product we're not yanking this out of our nether regions as they say see my no more no cost policy i would have said pulling it out of my beep but i wouldn't say that anymore nice. so which one of these do you want to go with Stu? Let, or... let's go with joint pain relief okay first. yeah all right. Yeah, I think that'd be a great thing for a real-time uh, exercise program with Stu. Um, okay, so now we're down to immediate result. What's some immediate results they want? Heal painful joint, prevent injuries, rebuild your body from the ground. Oh, oh, I like that. Yeah, definitely. But I'm not. I'm not going to tell you what to do. No, I, I like number that three. Okay. Because I I usually go from the feet up actually. Okay. So. so all right. So your avatar's long-term desire. We're not going to, so long-term desire. Um, ultimately, they want to conquer joint pain, rebuild your body, prevent injuries, understand the hidden causes, identify and fix, utilize natural injury, must maximize muscle recovery, strengthen joints, achieve pain-free mobility, achieve your true physical potential. I like that. Sure. Long-term, isn't that what they're yeah. after? Yeah, I love it. Okay. Well, I'm your avatar, so it's kind of easy for me. Oh, yeah, that's me, Stu. Um, <laughs> now, it would be interesting to jump on with, a, with one of your best customers and go through this with your own product and have them identify what applies to them. I just thought of that. But that's Dang. actually a really – that's a cool idea. That'd be a great interview idea, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Okay, yeah. so we're not worried about their enemy for the avatar junior – now what we're looking for is a urgent problem they need to solve. So heal painful joints, prevent injuries, rebuild your body, understand hidden causes, prevent the big three injuries. Now, I also want to point something out here. There might be some proprietary verbiage that they're using, especially in this health thing. People like to make up their own things or yeah. have copyrighted the big terms. Or, yeah. and, the big do you know what the big three common. is? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know what that – okay. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but you just want to avoid the purpose of this is not to take their copy. The purpose of this is to analyze the avatar. So just, you know, be aware of that. Okay. So which one of these is, are you thinking what's a, what's a big, uh, urgent problem they need to solve? Um, I think it was rebuild. I liked rebuild Re your body, rebuild, rebuild your body. Okay. So. Now we're looking for pain point. So you're really frustrated by the fact that your joints are constantly in pain. Injuries are preventing you from achieving your fitness. I think this one's right here. Injuries are preventing you from achieving your fitness goals. Yeah. Um, your body's breaking down as you age. I like that one too. I, I actually like that better. Okay. We're going to use that one. I guess I've taken over this. Sorry. Oh, that's I'm all right. I'm defining yeah. Stu's avatar. This, Let's this save is, this. This is, this is you. No, it's, yeah. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, I can't run as fast as I used to, but I run faster than anybody else in my neighborhood. But everybody around here is really old. Um, there you go. Questions you need answer. What are the cause, primary causes of joint pain? How can I prevent injuries? That's my bit. How can I prevent injuries moving forward? Yeah, that's huge. Okay. Um. All right. Roadblock or objection. You're hung up on the idea that joint pain and injuries are just a normal part of age. Yep. That, I'm telling you, that's the one right there. Just a, a normal part of aging. I mean, I, I have to fight that in my own head, honestly. Yeah, sure. It's like, you know, I'm slow now because I'm older. Well, yeah, maybe, but I'm still, you know. Uh, bottom line result that they want. A uh, perfect world, you just want to be able to conquer joint pain. I mean, if this is something you were going to be – because th what this is doing is also 
kind of make him you think about different stuff, but you know, heal painful joints, prevent injuries, rebuild your body from the ground up, conquer joint pain, identify and fix muscle imbalances, maximize muscle recovery and connectivity, connective tissue repair, strengthen joints. Which one? Yeah, I would say conquer joint pain. Conquer joint pain? Okay. Yeah. If I have time, I'm going to show you something so cool that I was not. Okay, we're not worried about if you have a product or not. Okay, if you already had a product and you're like, hey, if the, whoever's buying this, buy my thing, then fill in your product thing. We're not going to worry about that right here. So now what we want to do is we want to have three benefits. Okay, so this offer, you're going to pick three of these. Okay, so heal painful hmm. joints, prevent injuries, rebuild your body, conquer joint pain, understand the hidden causes, identify and fix, blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking the first Let's three. Let's do, I agree, one, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to do this real quick. All right. Hopefully this is getting some of you that are already members excited. Um, all right, and now we're looking for number one result and number one pain that this gets rid of. So number one outrageously amazing result from you, you get from this is you can now, now some of these are repeating a little bit and sure. part of the, the thing of that is because it just depends on the type and quality of the um, sales copy that you're putting in. It's it's looking for these things and analyzing it, but that's why some of these have been. Ooh, look um, at number ten. I like it. Oh, that's real good. That sounds like you're. Yeah. That sounds like yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. All right. And you can have it all without investing in confirmation in sense of ignoring muscle struggling with healing time and tissue repair being trapped ooh being trapped in the pain injury cycle i like ooh, that overusing yeah. spending with oh spending too much time in the weight room settling for limited mobility and functionality i like that i like that one there's several i like but yeah, okay you pick one then you pick it you pick you pick you pick which no, one that, you that's like? fine that's fine okay. that's great yeah okay so i want to show you this other thing Cause this is going to, this is this, 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 it's going to get you excited. All right. So now we got our avatar done, right? Yeah. So our avatar junior. So you're my avatar, a former athlete over 50 who dreams of becoming a mobility master. Currently your focus is joint pain relief. Ultimately you really want to achieve your true physical potential. Right this minute, you'd be ecstatic if you could rebuild your body from the ground up. Unfortunately, you still need to figure out how to rebuild your body. You're also really frustrated by the fact that your body is breaking down as you age. Plus, you need to answer this question before you can move forward. How can I prevent injuries moving forward? You're still hung up on the idea that joint pain and injuries are just a normal part of aging. When all is said and done, you just want to conquer joint pain. To help you, I'd like you to, in, to check out my whatever it ends up being so you can achieve pain-free, mobile, strong, and functional body without settling for limited mobility and functionality. This is going to make it easy for you to heal painful joints, prevent injuries, and rebuild your body. So that's not bad. That's pretty good. Okay. No, not bad at all. All right. So now what that means is we can take this avatar and go do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Because inside of copying content, that AI. The first thing you do is you load your avatar and everything we're doing. So let's say we wanted to, just for grins, let's say we wanted to write some uh, some ads. Let's say we just wanted to write some, some Facebook ads, all right? So what we could do is come into the FB Ad Genie, and this is just real quickity split, okay? We're gonna load our avatar which is Stu's avatar right there. And damn, look at what it just so did. The problem is we don't, we don't have a title for, for the offer, but we'll, it's okay. Let's do your mobility over mobility over 50. over 50. Yeah. And it's a book. All right. Yep. Style we want to use is serious and we'll use second person. 
So now I'm going to have it right. Of course, let's come on. I don't know why it's doing that. I got something in here it doesn't like. Hit refresh. I don't know why it's doing that. Huh. Something in here it doesn't like, and I'm not sure what it is, so. Let's do sensational. Huh. That's weird. All right. Let's do, let's look at a different one. I'll have to go in and look at that. This could be the moment that, um, this could be the moment that open AI is crashing and wanting to be difficult. But I may have picked up a character or something in there that's not liking. Yeah. See if it um, does it with a different uh, avatar. Yeah. Yeah, I'll mess with it. Let me just try it on this one. No. Uh, yeah. Did the way I, this is usually what happens when the upstream provider is having an issue. Um, because it worked on this one. Are you a former athlete over 50 looking to reclaim your physical, your prime physical condition? Fitness over 50 is here to help you rebuild your body from the ground up. Get back into shape and reclaim your athleticism today. It's not bad. I, like I don't it. know. I, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, let me load a different avatar. Like you say, uh, just for grins. We'll load Susan's gluten free avatar. All right. Anyway. Um, yeah, there's something, something's going on. Something's going on with, uh, with the upstream provider. So anyway, we'll get it figured out. Yep. Um, oh, there's one. Yeah. Tired of struggling to find gluten-free recipes, get this book now and enjoy tasty meals without the worry. That's good. I mean, that's, are you struggling to find gluten-free recipes? Discover the gluten-free lifestyle today. Get all the gluten-free recipes you need with the gluten-free lifestyle book. Are you a celiac community member in search of new gluten-free cooking techniques? Look no further. Discover the ultimate guide to cooking gluten-free with this must-have book. Get inspired and start cooking amazing meals today. Um, it may have just been a, it's far to dirty work. Uh, sometimes sometimes something happens they they have a little glitch or something discover yeah. amazing gluten-free cooking techniques do you have celiac disease or a gluten sensitivity then this book is perfect for you gluten-free lifestyle teaches you the latest techniques for cooking delicious gluten-free meals that everyone can enjoy get your copy today all right i'm gonna i'm gonna load your avatar that is really because cool. because that's it's irritating me that um that it didn't do that so I'm going to do fitness over four, fitness over 50. It's a book. I, I think it was just a glitch. That's the only thing I can think because it started working. So let's write some for Stu. Or maybe not, but I did hers the exact same way. So, all right, I'll play with it. We'll figure it out. Anyway. There you go. Fun and real time. So now, regardless that, re, you know, that first step that we went through 
using the uh, Avatar Junior, that was really helpful with giving me more stuff than I that I needed right. to actually start to understand who that Avatar is. And open you up to things you never even thought about that make perfect sense. Yes. So there you go. All right. So for those of you who are already members, mark your calendar for next Tuesday at two o'clock. We're going to, instead of going for one hour, like we do for our normal monthly masterclass, we're going to go two hours to do the two hour challenge. And by the end of that two hours, you will have at least one new avatar. I'm going to show you three different ways to get your avatar done. Uh, I'm going to check a couple things, but uh, it's going to be amazing. And if you're not a member yet, you should be. So you need to go over to copyingcontent.ai and check it out. So that's all we got, Stu. Looking forward to it. And uh, for those of you who are also elite members, uh, in about seven minutes, Stu and I are going to kick off the uh, Genie Hacking monthly training. So we'll see you all over there. Everybody have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.